اساتذه اللغه الانجليزيه المتطوعين باقامه النادي بصوره مستمره نادي مخاطبه اللغه الانجليزيه شكرا لكم على منبر مبادره الباحثين السودانيين يا اخوان الناس تبقى كتار والناس ما تخاف من ممارسه اللغه الانجليزيه لو ما غلطنا ما حنتعلم مش كده؟ فثانك يو فيري ماتش ثانك يو جايز First of all, in the name of God, the most merciful and the most compassionate, uh, good evening. Uh, we would like to welcome you to our English club in the forum of uh, Sudanese Researchers Initiative. So we are really very happy today to have you. And as teacher Anwar said that, you have to participate. The purpose is uh, practicing learning English, okay? So this is uh, the main purpose that why we are here. So today's topic is about freedom. And one of the three slogans of our revolution is justice, peace, and freedom. So today we are going to talk about uh, freedom. And as you see, we are four teachers and coordinators here. We are not going to speak, but we are going to help you to speak. Before we start our discussion, I'm going to give you, uh, to give my colleagues a chance to introduce themselves and to say something about the topic, and then chances will be open for you. Good evening. Uh, good evening, uh, gentlemen and ladies. I'm really glad to be standing in front of you here, and really, this uh, place is yours, not ours. Okay, and as you know, the topic of today is freedom, and my name is Abdul Latif Babikir. Okay, so first of all, you have to speak because you know, like, if you come here, you have to speak. Without speaking, we will never let you stand here because this place is never for for teachers to speak, but for those who are learning English to practice their English. Okay, and don't be afraid or shy to speak. Because no one born like having this language fluently. So all of us, we take it step by step. In the beginning, we were shy and afraid of speaking in front of the, the audience or in, in public. But after a few time, we overcome this. And you also will overcome this soon or later. And now is the chance for you to overcome this problem. And thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, really, it is my pleasure to be in front of you. Uh, what I would like to mention is that um, if you are really English learners, the important thing for English learners is practice. If you don't practice, you will not be an English speaker. So practice is very important and significant organ for learners. What is important for English is to practice. If you want to be an English speaker, if you want to be an articulated speaker, you should have to practice. And we are here not for correct a person, not for judge a person. Just move out your idea. Don't afraid. Let it out loud. Whatever you would like to say, just say it. You know, don't afraid from everybody. Because all of us here, we are brothers, we are sisters, we are coming here for learn. We are coming here for discover something new. We are coming here for helping each other. It doesn't matter if you mention a wrong words or right words. If you mention that, if you contextualize the sentence as it is or not, it doesn't matter. Our matter is how to move it out, how to give us your idea. And thank you very much indeed. The topic, as we know, it is a freedom and the chance is open for you. It is not for us. And thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, hello there. It's me, Walid Uthman, a, a teacher, an English teacher. Um, I'm going to hit the point directly. So we're talking about freedom. So because uh, you know that we say always uh, justice, peace and freedom or freedom, peace and justice. So uh, what is the freedom? What is the freedom? We always say freedom, freedom every day, every single day, freedom. So what is it? Okay, and the second point. So, is it a concrete uh, thing? Is it a concrete thing? It means like, so your freedom allows you to cut 
the barriers between you and other person or does it have limitations is it just what you what you do carelessly without caring about other people or you stop in a certain point so that's it we're gonna say uh, just stop at those simple questions what is the freedom and what's your freedom and others freedom okay if you'd like to speak just raise up your hand and show me yourself ah freedom the word that we've been saying shouting every day freedom 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 what is it who's gonna start yeah welcome What's your name firstly? What's your name? Yeah, just what's it? What's it? Abuba, please give him a harsh clap. Hello, good evening. We have been talking for freedom for a long time and we didn't find because of the government, the former, former government. What means uh, freedom for me? I mean, freedom of speech, freedom of sharing your, your mind to others, freedom in spread your re, uh, religion and your culture to others. And the second point for freedom is we are looking uh, for it, is uh, to share ourselves. Now we are uh, now about freedom. Government of this country, the freedom that me you must get in in this government. Most people are talking about freedom and peace and I mean, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to speak, to speak firstly and to speak to other. Some people need a freedom to do something because uh, for the former government, we don't. Uh, they didn't give us uh, give us the freedom as we are thinking now we are need of freedom or something like this thank you so much so to speak to say the thing that you want yeah your opinion your thoughts and even it could be uh, to wear something that you like right so those all kind of freedom but what, what about the other kinds of freedom? For example, um, you smoke, right? For example, you smoke, but someone here is uh, is beside you does not uh, does not like smoking. So, do you think this is kind of freedom? No. Freedom, it, harms. it harms other people. So here you stop. When you harm other people, so here your freedom stops. A good point. What about the others? Where's the freedom? Yeah? Hi everybody. Good evening. I'm very happy to be here with you today. My name is Yusuf. I'm a student in Sudan University, College of Language, English Department. First, uh, uh, the word of freedom. I, uh, I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> I watch a lot of movies and their expression stop me. Uh, when in every movie they say, they say free word, free word. That means that they are slave in this, uh, uh, in this time and I know that they are uh, two people or two people in the, in the world. Three people and not three people. Three people mean express your ideas, your, uh, your, your ideology or whatever you want to say. So the free war, when they say free war, they, uh, Americans say free war, that means uh, you do whatever you want and you can, uh, can yes, you can express what you want and you can judge uh, if someone 
do something wrong. And when we say uh, freedom, peace, justice, that means if there are no freedom, the two, the two words will not be exist. Justice and justice and, and peace. Because if you're not free, if you talk something wrong or something harm the, the government, they will talk uh, they will take your freedom. They will not let you in peace. And when uh, someone do something wrong to you, or uh, he, he took your money or take something wrong to you, and if, you, if they will not give your, uh, your rights, that means your justice take. So the freedom is the essential word. Of the, and if freedom is not exist, the two words justice and peace will never be exist. The freedom is the core uh, of the world. And all, uh, so when we are born, we, now we say we want freedom, freedom. That means when we born, we are not free. They, uh, they said we are independent in, uh, they said we are independent in, uh, in 19, in 19, yeah, 56. in 56, right? That means that is fake. We are not free. <coughs> Now we are, uh, we are take the most, uh, we take uh, our step to be free. Uh, thank you, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really thank you for your participation. I like your participation. So we're still asking you a question. What does a freedom mean to you? Um, freedom is very precious for any nation. For example, in American, in an American uh, anthem, uh, there is a last expression that they say, land of free and home of brave. And Nelson Mandela once said that, I fought, I fought against black domination and I fought against white domination. I cherish the ideal of democratic and free society in which all people live together in harmony and equal opportunities. We're still asking you the question, the concept. What does freedom mean to you? So come here. Thank you. Very hard clap for him. Hello, everybody. My name is Mohamed Bukrim. Allow me to introduce myself for you. Let me to greet a salute. The Sudanese Research and Initiative Foundations Allow me to greet and salute the English teachers. And also let me greet, salute the, the audience, those who came here. Uh, we want to talk about the, the word of the freedom. What do you mean? There is a lot of people here in this place. They are chanting freedom, peace, freedom. What the meaning of freedom? The word itself, its meaning, uh, the simple word, the word of the freedom is mean how to get your rights and the freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom, freedom is every person has freedom. If you want, if you we go back to the Excel game, at that time we have no freedom there. When we came here. Uh, when the revolution started, we came here in this uh, headquarter, military headquarter here in this place. There is everyone has has free freedom, a free uh, you can freedom of speech, freedom of thought. Everything you do, there is no one going to ask you and arrest you. But there, at the previous game, <coughs> if you if you say something to the to the to the game or to the to the th to, if you talk about the re game, there are some people there observing observe you, and they came to arrest you, putting in the jail. And there is no freedom. Although there is no pre freedom of peace, and there is no freedom of of anything. Now, at the at, at the coming. In, in our in our coming civilian government we need freedom of thought we need freedom we need freedom of things that we are going to do here 
also we need from the from the coming uh, coming government we need there is no one if you talking or if you say something that uh, you're so there is no 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 one come to arrest you so thank you so much for this point of view thank you so much, thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much indeed. So I have got a questions about uh, the freedom. Uh, do you think that there is a limited freedoms, or you think freedom it is only of uh, expressing your ideas, or you are going open-minded, for example, to do whatever you want to do? So is there any limited freedoms, or, for example, um, like like people say that uh, I will free even if I go naked. It is it is it is my uh, for example, these things is concerning me. It is a free. So, do you think that it is a limited freedoms as all people, or if they are, if the person he is going, for example, open-minded and then he date, he will be asked in the resurrection. Do you think it is a freedom that you will be asked in the next? Because if if you say the freedom that you will not be asked about something that you did, right? If you will be asked and judge about what you did, it is another kind of freedom. So uh, I'm asking you that it is a limited freedoms or there is an open-minded freedom. And hello, welcome. The question is open for everybody. Yeah, welcome. Abdullah. Your name? Abdul Hajj. Oh, give him a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this uh, chance to speak about uh, freedom. Uh, freedom, according to my ideas, freedom is to say what do you want to say and to do what do you want to do, just in your portal. According to the law, according to the law, does it mean to do not to do something against the law? Because any society they have a law, any social system has a law. When you say freedom, does it mean we need? to do the something according to the uh, social system and the law. Uh, there is a lot of kind of uh, freedom, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of uh, working, freedom of uh, uh, political freedom. All of people here, they come in order to what? To get the political freedom. In, 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 in X time or in Asian time, all the Sudanese people, they have no uh, chance to speak politically in any way. Because they have a right, according to the, the institution of the Sudan, they have a freedom of speech. But when they come to practice this uh, uh, freedom, they will get somebody in order to arrest them or to, uh, to take them to the, uh, a lot of places. Yes, we are here coming to, to get the political freedom. Does it mean to choose the people whom they need to lead us? We need the president. How we can choose the president? We need a chance and we need the, the, a freedom for every person to, to know who is qualified enough to choose for any uh, part in, in, in administration. For example, if we need uh, the, the president of the, the, the president of the public Sudan, we have to give all the people, all the people they have, they have a qualification in a political way to say their their, their mind to say the ideas and to choose to let the people to choose these people and as I say that the political they have a lot of uh, kind freedom of speech and freedom of uh, thinking freedom of education and we need the freedom of education does it mean to 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 let all the people in Sudan here to get the equal equal uh, education and to let them to be free does it mean to to read anything that they, they need and for it, for, uh, freedom of uh, freedom of uh, religion. We have uh, we, in Sudan here, in, in African continent, the people they has they suffering in one religion. If you want to go to the from religion to another religion in Sudan here, for example, this is a big problem and for for you. But this is my religion. I want to choose my religion. I want to be Muslim or non-Muslim. Or this is according to my mind. And Allah subhanahu wa taala, He give me this right to be Muslim or not Muslim or to be non-Muslim. It is my 
it is my it is my enthusiasm to choose what I need. Here it will be the problem. You will get another some person who will uh, he will he will uh, lead to to control you to lead you to any place. And uh, uh, for example, he went to 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 to, to make you like him. Yeah. I'm different. My, my Allah subhanahu wa taala, my God, He created me different from you. Me against you, automatically against you in anything. If you are Muslim, I'm not Muslim. If you are uh, married, I'm not married. <laughs> According to my mind, I, I need to choose. And I see, I say that people without freedom is nothing. It's not people. Like any animal. When is a human, they, they did not get the freedom, they will be like animals. They, somebody control them. They lead them to any place that he need to go. And when you get the freedom, it will be nation. And if you get the, the, the freedom from from long time, it will be nation. But until now, we are not become uh, a nation yet. Until now, we are coming here all of us. Why we need the freedom? We need the freedom, guys, in order to to build our country. This country will not be built without freedom. Yeah. Freedom and, and anything in order to feel to let the to let the people to feel that they are free. Nobody can control them. They can do anything. When person, when he, the human, as I say that, without freedom is nothing. These people, or those uh, human, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had, uh, had created them, had created them free. And without freedom, they cannot do anything. If you want to uh, somebody to do something, let him free. When you let him free, he will do the thing great. But when you control him, he will never ever do this uh, thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. But before you go, I've got some question for you. So you've said that the, uh, should be, uh, there should be a freedom of uh, speech and political freedom. So the NCP members or ambassadors claim that there was a freedom because there were many parties. So what do you, do, what do you think? There were many parties here. They are uh, doing their things. Okay. Uh, according to the an institution of the Sudan, he said there is a lot of uh, parties. Yes, this is a uh, this is their the right to do the things. If you give when you give them the, 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 the right in something, they have to practice. The government in ex government it gives us to to make the administration. But when you go in the street, it will arrest us. Why? We have to practice because you give me this freedom. I need to practice the things that you give me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thanks, thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. One of you have mentioned freedom, freedom. And I, I can say that no one has a full freedom. If you agree with me, share me. Okay. And there is a quotation that says, uh, your freedom ends when others' freedom starts. So, like, we are looking for our freedom, and we are saying that we don't have a freedom. <coughs> Unfortunately, you have your freedom. You can move, you can eat, you can sleep, you can talk, but the problem is, the problem on you, okay? So, like, if you have given the full freedom, then you are going to interfere in others' life. And that will hurt others. And that's why judge will take you to the prison because you have given your freedom, but you have taken someone else's freedom. So guys, everyone should participate. And if you don't want to participate, I will select randomly, okay? I will point, okay? The, the, the chance is yours, so. Okay, come, welcome. <laughs> Give him a harsh club, guys. Uh, first of all, good night. Good night. Uh, everybody. Uh, in the name of God, the merciful, the most precious. Uh, first of all, let us, as I always said, talk frankly and honestly. Uh, when we talk about freedom here in Sudan, uh, everyone knows that we have a, we haven't a 
freedom in Sudan. As you know that, uh, uh, let me tell you why. Because all of you, you know that the ICC, they, uh, it's, it's, it exists right now. ICC and uh, International Criminal Court, Al Kazan, they have been existing right now. So for that, uh, we don't have freedom really. Let us talk frankly. You see, uh, uh, freedom really uh, it, it has uh, many definitions. When you talk about freedom, so uh, scientifics. They they, they 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 got many definitions about freedom when you talk about freedom so uh, uh, it can be that freedom uh, within your clothes for example or freedom within your ideas or concepts when you want uh, to talk about a, a every issue uh, 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 it is essential for you that to, to get freedom in order to talk when you talk about a just a existed issue, so nobody can deny you or nobody can uh, criticize you without, you see, without ideas, for example. When you wear, for example, any clothes or uh, and you, you go to the, any place, then uh, everyone that can, couldn't uh, say to you that, oh, why, why you wear this, uh, why you wear this clothes? See, this clothes, is not, it's not okay with you. So this is also, can be freedom. So as I said that for you, freedom it has uh, it has many definitions. Uh, freedom can uh, can let us to, co to come in the funeral ship in this place exactly. Uh, so uh, when we say that uh, 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 freedom and peace and uh, justice, this is uh, this uh, this is the issues can let us to exist here in this place can let us to sitting. Uh, can let us to to pensions. Can let us to do uh, great things. Can let us to to tell everyone that uh, about uh, in order to to get the freedom that which we will talk about. Uh, freedom is not an easy thing. Actually, freedom it needs that uh, you should have to give the the concept. You should have to give uh, ideas for everyone that uh, say uh, whatever you want to say. Uh, when you talk about freedom, really, it's uh, uh, it's great things, you see. But uh, it needs actually it needs a word. When when you become a war, then you can uh, you can able that to use the uh, the freedom by a right way. Just only freedom it has a law, you see. When you say that law, so also you, you're gonna you can't able that to say some things and you don't have concept about the things that you say. Just only you 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 say the things that you've been sure about it and thank you a lot i don't want to prolong my bit thank you so much really thank you very much i think people are sleepy sagatat ma sagatat sagatat ma sagatat from different participation until now we got to know the real meaning of freedom freedom means that to do whatever you want to do and to say whatever you want to say as far as you don't harm others so this is the meaning of freedom but uh, if you want to talk about freedom from historical perspective uh, so we can say freedom the opposite of freedom is domination and slavery and here our religion islam when comes to when came to mecca they found people were slaves especially black people were slaves and one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that, Mata is nas, ummahatuhum ahrara. So when are you gonna take the freedom of other people and make them slaves? As their mothers were born them as free people. So right now we are free. Are we free right now? Yeah. Okay, so more participations. So, yeah, I think. That chance, and so we will come to you, okay? So, very hard clap for him. Assalamu alaikum. Um, the word freedom is, is um, maybe I have small objections, which is uh, talking about freedoms. Um, why not to ask ourselves, are we material mentally to digest freedom itself, or just the matter we speaking? about freedoms we do know the meaning of freedoms because the freedom is 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 war is universe 
of course we have to know that the, the time of of his slavery is, is, is finished we have to know that liberalism and imperialism is, is different shifted we have to know that we're being independent we have to know that of course people is struggling to have their own right but if we ask these questions because i just keep comparing our nation seems to be as a jungle jungle nation they are not material mentally of course to digest this freedom itself we have to speak realistic we support not to mislead ourselves because freedom of course it's okay to everyone to speak about freedoms but as our friend mentioned that is it freedoms limit or is absolutely freedoms because people that is this enlightening mind is keep saying that freedom is absolutely should be practical for me freedom is not absolute freedom is limit because you if you ask yourself what the reason for your existence you have to answer this question practically because the reason for your existence you have regulations and principles you are no longer going to overcome all this and that's why we are not absolutely freedom we have not absolutely free to express what we want to speak of course we speak about religious freedoms we speak about politician freedoms we speak about cultural freedoms but we will never speak about the freedom which is, is violating other because your freedoms violating other freedoms this means that you have to know you don't know the meaning of freedoms and the question being asked more many citizens what freedom means to you they keep saying that freedom means to me to express I want, what I want, to, to wear what I want, to speak what I want, to choose what I want. I want, I want to be a decision maker. But you never know, you are within very deep, you have to be compromised. Your freedom should be under these compromises. Because if your freedoms harm my freedoms, that means your freedom is ended. We have to fit our nations mentally to know how to digest freedom itself and come up with freedoms of course to speak to be practical freedoms the freedom what i knew right now is start like new version to our own community is new versions because we're not material mentally to know the meaning of freedoms but please ladies and gentlemen know the meaning of freedoms and to express because sometimes your freedoms harm somebody's freedom thank you thank you so much so your freedoms ends when others freedom starts so this is a, i think a clear point of view so we're gonna just say uh, have here uh, dr niazi, niazi uh, to reveal his opinion okay assalamu alaikum uh, uh okay uh, I, I i think that the, the, the topic is very interesting uh which the stage has just uh, you know uh, announced but at the meantime i i feel it a very complicated topic to discuss because it it is it's having a variable you know uh, uh values and uh, uh to go backward to the uh, to go backward to to the period of the scholars or pioneers of the religion of Islam the uh, the era of the Prophet Muhammad uh, peace be on him and his uh, companions and after that uh, they he said that he came to complete uh, the social norms or I was announced as a prophet to complete the social norms. That means the, the communities before Islam in uh, the Arabian uh, uh, area, they, they did have their social norms. And uh, Prophet Muhammad, when he came, his miracle wasn't like uh, the previous uh, prophets, uh, Musa and, and Isa, peace be on, on, on them. Uh, 
because they they do have different uh, communities and those communities were having uh, uh, different beliefs and circumstances but when uh, the prophecy came came to uh, uh, Sayyidina Muhammad peace be on him uh, the Arab people uh, in the Arabian uh, land or in the, in the Arabian island say they were uh, competing each other in, 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 in a definite uh, perspective that's the linguistics and the poetry and their ability to express themselves and that's why the miracle of Sayyidina Muhammad was uh, from that sort of what they are very excellent in the linguistics and, and, and their ability to express themselves and in the same time he came and he was observing them in his first 40 years as we know uh, in, a, in, a, in a unique soul way he was worshipping uh, Allah uh, by himself uh, when he was mature because he was asking himself uh, uh, who, who, who I am or who am I and and uh, and to whom this universe belong and there should be a, a one uh, power that rules out this universe and then after that after the uh, uh, the miracles uh, uh, came to him one by one announcing him as a prophet you know the resistance all of us are aware of the resistance the, the, the horrible resistance he faced by his own people his uncles his his relatives they refused uh, what he brought to them because just uh, days few days or moments before he announced what he, he did uh, for them is that I'm um, now I'm, I have become a prophet and I'm telling you that this universe has belong to one power which which whose name is Allah and we should always be uh, worshiping him and you should quit uh, dealing with uh, different and diverse uh, gods and goddesses and you should stop dealing with uh, 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 drinking and, 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 and the rest of the other bad habits they got so he on their point of views he, he became a freedom restrictor because they used to, to live an absolute free life simply they used to do whatever they they wish and whatever they like whenever they like with whoever and uh, without any logic and even their wars you know before the uh, prophecy of uh, Muhammad peace be on him uh, there is, has been a very uh, famous war between the Arab people Dahis uh, Ghabra. it lasted 40 years and the reason was almost nothing it wasn't a reason to, uh, to to start a war that lasts about 40 years. So they were living, as as my colleague here said, uh, the, the, the previous one who who just uh, told us about his view. It's not an absolute freedom. You know, freedom is restricted by the social norms and by the constitution. And if there wasn't a constitution, number one target for us should be we have to establish and, and finish and vote, establish and the voting and finish the discuss and complete forming of our permanent constitution. Because coming to our uh, fact here in, uh, in Sudan, since our independence, we haven't completed the issue of the permanent constitution. We are dealing with different uh, transitional constitutions, and it, it doesn't it, it doesn't belong to, to, to the Sudanese nation. I, I agree with that, because any regime which has 
governed Sudan for a period of time, whether it was a technocratic regime, and, and, and this period of, of technocratic regimes that ruled Sudan was in collection uh, below nine, nine or, or ten years, as I think. The rest of the period from the independence to now, we have 63 years now, we have more than uh, 53 years uh, dictatorships. And we know that the mentality and the psychology of a dictator ruler or a president is that he put in the first two or three or four years a heavy mask of a good man who came to solve people as the ancestor removed out president. If we, he said like that at the 30th of June 1989, and he presented himself as he's going to save the Sudanese people from from the devil. And then he, a few years later, he took off the mask and then he became the devil. And then, you know, the chair of of the rule of the ruling system. You know, it's something you know is built in our instinct. Any human being, if he was...